Hello everyone, what's going on and welcome to this week's tipping video. We are here, we are a week away from the grand final being decided. So the grand final week is going to be absolutely pumping with content, especially a pre-game live stream. And I'm thinking about doing it at 2.30 p.m. A 2.30 p.m. live stream, pre-game live streams gonna have a few bevs gonna do this and that so yeah it'll be a big one so hopefully you guys can get down there to watch it um will be on the channel so obviously yeah but yeah this week we're gonna go through our preliminary final tips two big preliminary finals coming up this week and i'm going to share with you who i think is gonna win why i think they are going to win this and that and yeah so the first game we have is richmond port adelaide taking on richmond at the adelaide oval this is going to be a huge class the power coming off their first week finals win they've got the, they had the week off to prepare but we're only a couple days out from the match actually happening and it's going to be an absolute huge game um, Richmond they've got a they've got a very different side to the side that faced the power when they lost by 21 points I know they've got Prestia back um, that's really all I know who they've got back um, Port have a few different names as well. Um, I'm pretty sure last time they didn't have Motlop in the side and he's been causing havoc, especially last week, well not last week, in week one against the Cats where he kicked, I believe it was two goals or three goals, something like that. But yeah, he did well. Charlie Dixon wasn't at his best against the Cats, only kicked the one goal in the third in the first quarter I believe it was and went a bit quiet from there but maybe that's because they were trying to work him down the ground and see if he could take con contested marks and all that but yeah so this this time around it's going to be a very different Richmond side that's going to come out and play to the round to the side that came out and lost by 21 points against the power last time and yeah and this side will have much more finals experience as well so it's going to be a very difficult task for the power to overcome. But in saying that, they did play a cat side who a lot of their players had a lot of finals experience compared to the power players who didn't have a lot of finals experience, but the power players still got the job done. So we can't count the power out, and I'm not going to count them out either. And that's why I'm going to tip the power by only a margin of 11 points. I think this game will really, really go down to the wire. I think it'll be like, what, a five-point margin? and then in the final minutes a power player will kick a goal to get the power through to the grand final but yeah I won't count Richmond out of this one unfortunately as much as it pains me to say it but I still think they are a chance to win at the Tigers but I just think the power at home they'll want it that little bit more they'll put all that forward pressure on they'll sort of start playing as the Tigers would like to play with all that forward pressure that momentum trying to push the ball forward and all that so yeah it's going to be a very interesting match but I've gone the power by 11 points in this one the second preliminary final sees the Lions take on the Cats at the Gabba now this is a huge one a lot of people are saying that the Lions will get the job done quite easily but I'm one in to believe that the Cats can actually get the job done um, the Lions they've had the week off now everyone thinks that the team that has the week off yeah they're gonna come out and absolutely destroy but that's not the case we look at 2018 2016 all of these different scenarios where a team that has had the week off sometimes doesn't win in their preliminary final so it's gonna be a big test that the Lions can do it um, Listen, I'm, I'm reading this writing as the Lions are almost there, but they won't do it again. I'm reading this writing as the Cats will actually do it. I'm reading it as Dangerfield really wants this, Ablett really wants this, Selwood really wants this. They've been in so many preliminary finals that they surely have to win one of them. I think taking it back to 2019, that was the latest one where they were almost there. They almost beat the Tigers, but the Tigers got the job done. So this, they've had a lot of chances, the Cats. They've had a lot of chances. They've been in the prelim a lot of times. They just haven't scraped across the line. But I'm just getting a real sense this year that they could actually get the job done as much as the Lions will come out fighting. I just have a sneaky suspicion that the Cats can actually get the job done. I mean, Dangerfield, if he can't be stopped, he can be a unit. He can crash packs. He can hurt bodies. He can do this and that. 
and you know the Lions they've still got their A grade talent they've still got Cameron who would want to win this they've still got Hipwood who would want to win this they've got all the players that would want to win this they've got Ablett uh, no, Shalong have Ablett, the Lions have Neil, so that will be a very good, interesting battle to see. Dangerfield, Dangerfield as well against Neil as well, so that will be huge to see. But I'm just going, I just have a strange feeling that the Cats can actually get this, the job done. Um, I, I think, I don't know, Harris Andrews versus Tom Hawkins is actually a big one because as much as Harris Andrews is a great defender. Tom Hawkins is a strong body and I don't think Harris Andrews is as strong as Tom Hawkins so I reckon Tom Hawkins can do his, do a bit of work on Harris Andrews work him over and maybe Dangerfield as well can work him over as well Dangerfield was there to work over Darcy Moore who was the All-Australian defender and he worked Darcy Moore over and over and to that point, Darcy Moore was, you know, looked lackluster in the end. He looked tired in the end because he was just trying to stop Dangerfield but couldn't. So, you know, if Dangerfield could take out Harris Andrews or if Hawkins can take out Harris Andrews, that's a big avenue for the Cats who almost win the game. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go the Cats in this one to beat the Lions by 13 points at the Gabba to set up a Port Adelaide versus Geelong grand final at the Gabba. So good luck to all the teams this week and good luck to have fun supporting your club if, if your club's in the final four mix. And yeah, enjoy it as it is right now. And if your team makes it through, good luck in the granny. Cheers.